Welcome to Arizona Bike Week, you can see behind me. This is a serious motorcycle rally and should be in the top of your list for rallies across the entire country. Now while there's a lot of places to go in Cave Creek for Bike Week, the hideaway should definitely be one of your stops. This place gets jammed up with motorcycles. The viewing's phenomenal. I mean, look at this beautiful road glide right here. Right next to it, a beautiful soft tail. And you can just find beautiful bike after beautiful bike and riders of every walk of life. Let's roll a little music and I'll take you inside. And that, my friends, is the hideaway, which is, you know, well, you can see a great time anytime Arizona Bike Week comes around. And you always leave with a couple friends. I ran into a few of my old friends there. And we are gonna make our way up to the next spot I'd like to show you, which is the Roadhouse. I do love the beach bars, man. These bars are just awesome, if you ask me. This is a very unique style motorcycle. You don't see a lot of anymore these days. And I personally think it's pretty rad. Here's another one, look at this thing. I'd ride it. <laughs> when you're very concerned about your electronics and your audio. I've never seen anything like that before in my life. <laughs> what the hell? And now I welcome you all to the Roadhouse on a Friday night. What's up? Yeah, yeah baby. What's happening, man? What's happening, bro? How's it going? Hell yeah. This is Trask's bike show here at the Roadhouse. And I'm uh, just going to show you some really rad bikes, you know. You're going to have a lot of power, a lot of performance bikes when it's a Nick Trask show. Mr. Nick Trask hiding behind. Look at him hiding back. So Nick's got a charity that he's supporting. And it's a dog rescue. So he's got this shirt. Sorry for the disclaimer on the cussing and stuff. I normally don't put that in my channel. But if it's for dogs, y'all can deal with a little cussing. So I got mine. You need to go online and get yours. Where do they get it and what's it support? Uh, you can get it on uh, at trustperformance.com. And we're doing this 100% of the proceeds of these shirts go to Space Coast Frenchie Rescue. They're a Frenchie Rescue based out of Florida. That's where we got out our two Frenchies from and we love our dogs to death and we want to help them out. They used to be a breeder, but then they, they stop breeding dogs and they just go out and they just rescue dogs. Nick Trask, saving slow bikes and dogs. Yeah. We love dogs. <laughs> so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to buy five of these shirts, five people to write down in the comments that they love dogs. I'm going to send you a shirt for free. The rest of you go over to Nick's website and go help this charity out. When you go to Cave Creek Bike Week, you run into all the people in the industry. And there's one channel out there, I know y'all are already watching them, but they have put out some really quality content. Their content's beyond belief, and you already know who I'm talking about. Oh, hey man. two lane life What's in up? the house. <laughs> yeah, but Look. you know, you're the OG brother. Well, and all the work you're doing for the Wounded Warriors, we gotta thank you for that, my friend. Oh, We're man. trying to right follow on, the right same on. route. They've taken the social media, YouTube thing, and brought it really to the next level. I mean, you all have really taken it, just elevated it, and that's what it's all about. Thank you so much for showing me so many rad roads and rides and places. Yes. Adam Sandoval, you're the man. Now uh, y'all are the men. And that, my friends, is uh, the Roadhouse. And it is a wild time, but it's not just beers and whiskey and women and crazy motorcycles. It's also good food when you come to Cave Creek Bike Week. And this is Harold's. And their menu's pretty good for motorcycle rally food. I'm going to tell you that. Even good if it's not a rally and you're just looking for some grub. Order dessert first. Look at this. This is. I don't know if you guys can tell how big that is on camera. <laughs> like a fist. Yeah. This is an American <laughs> That's a fist. That's a standard fork. Everybody's got a fork in there. Get you some. Cheers. Cheers. Good yeah. Yay! <laughs> Bike week. What can I say? Tell Look you at you this. I told you that was happening. Yeah, I, I'll take your advice any day. Friends. Yeah, yeah I'm going to move her bike for he's, her. He's got my back. Yes. Always. <laughs> we'll, get, we'll get it out of here.
just like that, I'm back at my hotel, the Egyptian here, downtown Phoenix. Bike week in Arizona is an amazing thing. If you guys haven't seen my ride from my last video up to Jerome, you gotta check it out. If you haven't seen my ride down through Pine, check it out. I truly personally believe Cave Creek is the new hotspot for Arizona Bike Week. And I think if you come out here and visit both, you'll agree. But that doesn't mean I'm not taking you to Westworld, which is the official Arizona Bike Week. I'm gonna take you there in tomorrow's video. But I just wanted to show you this scene. You see this group of yellow shirts behind me? They're all over. Had you been here last night, you'd have probably seen several hundred of them. They're the hamsters. And if you have seen these shirts and wondered what they are, I'm gonna get one of the OGs, Paul Yaffe, to tell you what being a hamster is and how it happens. Paul Yaffe, tell me what is the hamster? So people see this yellow shirt at all the major motorcycle rallies. They see it uh, at all the bike shows. Everywhere you go, you find this infamous yellow shirt with the word the hamsters across it. What exactly is it? So uh, I'll try to make it a short story. 1978, Arlen Ness, Donnie Smith, Dave Perowitz, Ed Kerr, Steve Ellington, Barry Cooney, a bunch of guys are in Daytona at Bike Week, right? They're going down to the Chopper Show to show off their bikes. And a few, uh, Jimmy Leahy and Dave's girlfriend at the time, Susan, got left at the hotel. These guys went in town to party. Susan and Jimmy were there, got pissed off that they got ditched. So Jimmy, uh, uh, an East Coast Boston guy says these guys are a bunch of hamsters, right? And he gets mad. Uh, so he designs this head and he makes these this hamster MC thing and he makes it on paper plates, right? And he puts it on everybody's doors who ditched him of their hotel. So when they get back, right, now they have this hamster thing, right? So uh, it was a joke, right? And uh, But Sue thought, thought, it, thought it was something there, right? So uh, next time they all got together, Sue had taken these paper plates and turned it into a t-shirt, a hamster shirt, a yellow hamster shirt, right? And hamster, I think they chose yellow because it was the most unintimidating, uh, silliest, right? Just non-club non, non uh, uh, club type attire, right? And, and that's how that happened. So uh, years went on, the hamsters caught on, and it used to be just a bunch of guys hanging out, love custom bikes, doing all kinds of stuff. And, and then in the... God, in the in the 80s, 90s, uh, it started happening. They went to Sturgis, right? And 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 then the Sturgis became like this home of the hamsters, and the Black Hills was the hamster place. And every year we'd have this kind of homecoming. And it used to be back then, uh, you know, if you were hanging around for a little while and the guys thought you were cool, whatever, you know, they'd throw you a yellow shirt, and that was that. You got your yellow shirt. It's gotten a little more uh, official uh, since then. Now there's a board, which is uh, all the founding members sans uh, Arlen Ness uh, God rest him if you want you you know you want to be a part of you just come hang around you'll go before the board that you'll get officially sponsored uh, and then you know a few years go by and you know we have a big banquet in Sturgis every year where we bring in new members and you wait for your name to get called you know and sooner or later you do and they get you a yellow shirt it's a big thing and now you're now you get to pay 200 bucks a year in membership and you're a hamster and it's just there's so many stories about what it takes and all these myths about what hamsterdom is, but it's just that simple. We have hamsters in 30 countries, right? All over the world. I have brothers all over the world. The camaraderie is undeniable. The common bond that we have for our love of everything custom. And we, we're jolly guys. We love to get together and have a good time. We also uh, have kind of morphed into this very philanthropic organization. We have this big banquet uh, in Sturgis every year. We raise four or $500,000 Monday night in a couple of hours of, of, in this silent auction, just of all this crazy hamster paraphernalia that everybody brings and sells to each other. But it raises a bunch of money for children's care in the Black Hill. It's just a great group of guys. So custom motorcycles is obviously a big piece of being a hamster. So I figure I might as well walk you through the parking lot here and show you some of the bikes that are going on the ride today. Check this one out, Pan America, American flag on one side, and a considerate Canadian flag on the other side. I was born in Canada, and you know what? America got my heart. So I was born Canadian, and I'm all American. And you founded a charity for 
for uh, for abuse. Tell everybody what that is. Well, we, uh, my daughter and I, we founded Bikers Against Bullies USA, which is a non-government funded anti-bullying campaign. And now it's the largest non-funded campaign in America. And we've just become Bikers Against Bullies worldwide, Adam. That is awesome, yeah. man. That's my boy Flash. I didn't even know that was his bike, but uh, he's got a great program. Y'all should go check it out. What's more important to you when you go to these rallies, the riding or the scene? Let me know down in the comments below. I'm interested to hear what you say. To me, the culture is probably even more important than the riding, but I hate going to rallies that don't have good riding. For it to be a successful rally for me, it has to have both riding and a great scene. Arizona Bike Week checks both those boxes.